Hi, my name is Leo. I'm a postdoctoral scholar at the University of California, San Francisco, UCSF, with Kizi Tang and Jeff Bluestone. And my focus is on developing new engineered cell therapies for autoimmune disorders and transplant rejection. If you think about transplant therapy, you need to have a matched organ for it to be therapeutic. And that's a big bottleneck. Many people actually die waiting for a matched organ to appear. What if it didn't have to be that way? What if you could re-educate the recipient's immune system to accept a foreign organ as if it was his or her own? So that's my focus, immune tolerance. The idea that you can induce engineered cells, and I focus on regulatory T cells, they're the generals of the immune system that make sure that no immune response goes overboard. And so you can take this subset of immune cells and you can engineer them for a specific target. And I do so using chimeric antigen receptors, CARs. These artificial immune receptors have an outside component that can recognize specific structures on the surface of cells and an inside component which, where you can plant different immune signaling domains. And so this way you can tell the cell where to go and what to do once it gets there. So that's been my main focus with, uh, again, the idea that you can use cells as living drugs to accomplish new therapies that have not been done before. I think one challenge is to stay focused because immunology now is exploding. You can look at so many different parameters, so many different disease models. You can collaborate with so many different fields. You have immune cells in the brain, you have immune cells in different autoimmune disorders. And so I think staying focused in one question or a few questions has been my main challenge. Uh, one thing that I find really useful to keep up with this meeting is to use the online app. Like before coming here, I made sure that I populated my schedule with every single talk and meeting that I'm interested in. For example, I focus on regulatory T cells in my research to induce immune tolerance. So I made sure to just type up T-Ray in the schedule and just really go make sure to go through every single talk or meeting that I must attend. Uh, I believe there's a couple important issues facing young scientists today. One of them is the funding climate. The idea that more and more funding goes through translational research and less and less to basic research. A second one is that uh, as you have many people getting their PhDs, their newly minted PhDs, but there's always not as many academic positions for all these people to become professors. So I think more and more there should be a focus on uh, making people realize that there's a whole world out there. You can work in industry, you can work in consulting, you can maybe be like a science communicator or even go into politics. I think a PhD is a very important skill that can work in a wide range of professions. So I think those are two main challenges, to find a position and to really work on what you're passionate about. Because you can imagine that if you don't give a disease-related spin to your research, it will be harder and harder to get funding to do it. Uh, right now, I should say that I'm very fortunate that I've always lived inside academic bubbles. So even though I'm originally from the US, I have never felt any sort of disadvantage about it. I was at Harvard for my PhD, I'm at UCSF for my postdoc. These are both very international places, and my mentors, both my PhD advisor and my postdoc advisors, they're very supportive of my work. But I, I could imagine that um, it, it kind of baffles me that it should matter sometimes from what country you're from, because apparently some countries have disadvantages over other countries. And I thought the whole point of the science enterprise is that it doesn't matter where you're from or even what you're passionate about specifically, that everyone should have a shot at it. And right now I worry that more and more there's a differentiation of people re regarding where they're from and how, and how easy they can get where they want to go.